Hello guys, when generating filament resource, have you ever used dash dash generate to generate the columns from your database? And have you ever wondered how exactly it generates those columns and inputs? So let's take a look inside a filament core code, what columns are generated based on which database column types. Here it is in the source, but we need to start with an example. So here's my demo database table projects with these fields. As you see, different data types deliberately. So we have varchar, text, decimal, integer, boolean, date, and date, time, and timestamps. And we have some data seeded with faker. So it looks like this. Now, if we generate make resource with dash dash generate, Let's see the result. Let's generate a filament resource with dash dash generate and see the results. Let's leave all the others as defaults and look into the code. And this will be a filament for structure with form and table separately. But look at this. So in the form, varchar from the database is text input, but then text from the database is text area. If we have a relationship, it automatically performs the select with relationship. If we have a number, it makes it a numeric. If we have a budget float, it's still a numeric. If we have Boolean, it becomes a toggle. If we have date, it becomes date picker. If we have date time, it becomes date time picker. And in the table, also similarly, we have mostly text columns here, but with different additional modifiers. So we have numeric for budget and for priority and for username, which is actually incorrect. I probably need to report that as a bug to filament core team. But then we have icon column for Boolean we have date and we have date time and also timestamps by default are toggleable. As a result, if we refresh the homepage, we have projects and we have that table with formatted columns, some of them hidden under toggleable here. And if we have new project, this is the form and this is probably the main selling point of filament. I haven't written any line of code myself. But also I haven't used AI, it's just filament, table and form generator from your database structure and from your model if it detects the relationship from both, it combines the list of columns and then transforms them into filament code. If we compare that with AI, for example, AI is non-deterministic, so it's not stable in what code it would generate. With filament core, you can totally predict what would be the column and the input based on conditions. And now when you saw that practical example, we can get back to the source code. Again, it's 4x branch in one of the files called can generate model forms. We have a lot of code before the if statements, or in fact, it's a match statement, it's not if. And here you see the thing, boolean becomes toggle, date becomes date picker, and so on. Default is text input, but for image, we have file upload class as well, I haven't shown you that. Also for enum, we have select class, and also there are parse default expression, and I guess belongs to relationship name, functions inside of the same class, so quite a lot of details to add things like prefix, for example, for money table to have text area as column span full. So if you see here, description is column span full by default and a lot of small parts. If you want to take a look at that deeper yourself, I will link that in the description below. But basically what I wanted to show you is that dash dash generate is a very powerful thing that will mostly guess what table and what form you need to have in your project. And from there, you can go manual mode and make the changes yourself. What do you think about dash dash generate flag? Do you use that when creating filament resources or not? And why? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.